So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the largest domain or the domain of a given function. Now to find the domain of a function, then you simply want to find the values of x that will make the function defined. Now let's begin to solve some examples. How do we find the domain of a linear function, say f of x is equal to 1 minus 2x? What are the possible values of x that will make the function defined? The domain of any linear function is the set of all row numbers from negative infinity to infinity. This means that whenever you insert any row number between negative infinity and infinity in place of x, then you are going to get a corresponding value for y or for f of x. This also means that the function exists for all row numbers hence it is defined so the domain for this particular function can be written as x is such that x is the set of all row numbers because any value of x you plug in this equation is going to make the function defined so now let's try some other examples what is the domain of this function f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. So like we did in the previous example, the domain for this particular function is going to be the set of all row numbers from negative infinity to infinity. This is because any row number you insert in place of x in this equation is going to make the function defined. So the domain is going to be x is such that x is the set of all row numbers. Likewise, if you have a polynomial, say f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 7x minus 6. The domain is going to be the set of all row numbers from negative infinity to infinity so that we can write it as x is such that x is the set of all row numbers. So this is the idea. When there are no fractions or square roots but only polynomials, then the domain is going to be from negative infinity to infinity, which can be written as x is such that x is the set of all row numbers. Now how do we find the domain of a rational function? So let's say we have a function f of x is equal to x plus 5 divided by x minus 3. What value of x will make the denominator go to 0? To find the value of x that will make the denominator go to 0, we need to equate x minus 3 to 0. So it's going to be x minus 3 is equal to 0. And then we transpose negative 3 to the right hand side. So it's going to be x is equal to 3. So this means that the value of x that will make the denominator go to 0 is equal to 3, which means that the function is going to be undefined. So the domain for this function is going to be x is such that x is the set of all row numbers except x is equal to 3. Because when you put x is equal to 3 in the function, it's going to make the denominator go to 0 which means that the function is going to be undefined. So now let's try this one. What is the domain of the function f of x is equal to 1 minus x squared divided by x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now as usual, because we have a rational function, then we need to equate the denominator to 0. So it's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So now we need to factorize this equation. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1 and then the coefficient of the constant is negative 8. So 1 times negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So we need to find the factors of negative 8 that add up to 2. So factors of negative 8 are negative 1 and 8 and then negative 2 and 4. Now we can add negative 2 and 4 to get plus 2 or positive 2. So it's going to be x squared 
minus 2x plus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now grouping like things, the greatest common factor between x squared and negative 2x is x. So x will be on the outside and then we have x minus 2 inside the bracket plus 4 on the outside into bracket x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have x plus 4 in a bracket and then x minus 2 in another bracket equal to 0. So x plus 4 is equal to 0 and then x is equal to negative 4 and then x minus 2 in a bracket so it's equal to x is equal to 2. So this means that the values of x that will make the function undefined is x is equal to negative 4 and then x is equal to 2. So we can write the domain as x is such that x is the set of all row numbers except x is equal to negative 4 or 2. So now let's try to put negative 4 and 2 in this equation. So it's going to be negative 4 squared plus 2 into brackets negative 4 minus 8. Now negative 4 squared is equal to 16 minus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 minus 8. Now 16 minus 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. So when we have the denominator to be 0, then the function is going to be undefined. Now let's try for 2. Now when we put 2 in this equation, then it's going to be 2 squared plus 2 into bracket 2 minus 8. 2 squared is equal to 4. And then 2 times 2 is equal to 4 minus 8. Now 4 plus 4 is 8 and 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. So the values of x that will make the function undefined is x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 2. Hence, the domain is x is such that x is the set of all row numbers except x is equal to negative 4 and 2. Now, how do we find the domain of a function with a square root? So let's say we have a function f of x is equal to the square root of 2x minus 1. If the function has a square root or a radical with an even index, then we need to set what's inside to be greater or equal to 0. So it's going to be 2x minus 1 is greater or equal to 0. Now we are going to transpose negative 1 to the right hand side so that we have 2x is greater or equal to 1. We divide both sides of the equation by 2 and then we have x is greater or equal to 1 over 2. This means that for the function to be defined, then we need to have values greater or equal to 1 over 2. So let's confirm our answer by putting x is equal to 1 over 2 in this equation. So it's going to be 2 into brackets 1 over 2 minus 1 and then 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. The square root of 0 is equal to 0. Now let's say x is equal to 1 over 3, which is less than 1 over 2. So it's going to be 2 into brackets 1 over 3 minus 1. Now 2 times 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. And then 2 over 3 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 3. Since we cannot have the square root of a negative number, then it means that the values of x that will make the function defined is greater or equal to 1 over 2. So the domain can finally be written as x is such that x is the set of all row numbers. x is greater or equal to 1 over 2. Now there is an alternative approach to this problem. We have the function to be f of x to be equal to 2x minus 1. So we can set what's inside to less than 0 so that we have 2x minus 1 is less than 0. Now we transpose negative 1 to the right hand side and then we have 2x is less than 1. We divide both sides of the equation by 2 and then we have x is less than 1 over 2. 
This means that any value of x lesser than 1 over 2 will make the function undefined. So the domain can be written as x is such that x is the set of all real numbers except x is less than 1 over 2.